sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. It's Bree. Oh, hey, Bree. It's Hillary. Sorry, I was driving and I didn't want to talk. Well, I was driving. I didn't want to get stopped. I already got stopped by once by the police officers at uh, the library because they're looking for somebody that's involved in a theft break-in at somebody's house. And the officer asked to search me and asked if I was using again, and I said no. And I said, you can search me. You can even search my moped. Yeah. So, so I mean, I was just sitting there using the Wi-Fi, and they asked me about Anthony, and I said, I don't know, sir. I said, I don't talk to him anymore. I said, he's, as far as I know, he's at his mom's. Why are they asking about Anthony? Well, apparently, Corey, who is 15, who is one of my friends, uh, told the police that Anthony had tried to have sex with her. And he's a grown ass man. And he's with Alicia. Yeah. And uh so she told me at the Strawberry Festival that the cops are looking for him. Okay, if that was true, the cops would have seen me and Anthony hanging out as friends and they would have stopped us. Yeah. So and that guy AJ Cook, the ones that kicked me out. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. He it's starting a bunch of bullshit. He sent videos that were sex videos to Anthony's fiance, and uh, Emma got them too. And she thinks it was Cody Fairfield that was in the video. In the video, no, it wasn't. I told him I would never ever have sex with Cody, ever, and I never have, never will. Yeah. And so AJ is starting a bunch of shit. And apparently he's trying to get me or Anthony killed or one of us jumped. And it, what do I you mean, mean Anthony, get you guys jumped? Like, like get us killed, like beat up. Yeah, I know what like, that means, but... Like, like trying to get like a bunch of bullshit started. I mean, yes, the videos are true, but that was, like, last year. But they're saying it was March. Emma told me it was in March. Those videos were last year, but it wasn't with Cody Fairfield. It was me and Anthony. And I don't know how AJ got them. Yeah. So. And now Anthony's fiancé doesn't want him talking to me, hanging out with me, nothing to do with me. I feel like I lost a friend. I feel like I lost both both of them as friends, and that's, like, I have nobody. Yeah. And AJ's, uh, I don't know if Emma told you, Vicki Harrison, not Aunt Vicki, but Josh Sexton's mom, uh. who is supposedly AJ's mom. I'm not quite well, sure. I can fill you in it sometime about it. Um, but a couple of years ago, she was going around telling people that I was going around telling that everybody in town that AJ raped me. Uh, okay, one, AJ and I never, ever had sex. Or AJ ever raped me, ever. And then at the, a year later, the same rumor was going around by Vicki Harrison and Heather York. Yeah. And I would never say that about something that evil about somebody that wasn't even true. 
Yeah. So, I feel like I'm all alone. I feel like I have nobody now. Yeah, I've just been chilling. Are you in town or are you at home? I'm at home. Oh. So that's pretty much what's been going on. I mean, I've been saying pretty much to myself because of everything that's going down. I mean, I got my case coming up in October. Uh, not October. I got Cody coming home, thinking about that, um, here in a couple weeks. Or a week or so. So, why would Emma think that, you know, that was Cody's voice on the recording? But it wasn't little... Cody Fairfield. It was me and Anthony. Yeah, but I'm asking, why would she think that? Like, I don't know, but that's what AJ told her. Or Emma thought it was Emma thinks it's Cody Fairfield and it's not. It's me and Anthony. Huh. And Emma knows that I will never ever sleep with any of her guys. Ever. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know why AJ is doing this shit. I don't know either. And plus, it's uh, getting back to one of my friends, and he told me not last night, but the night before. And I figured it was Vicki Harrison doing it, Josh Sexton's mom. And I just saw Holly and Josh at the start by the fountain the other day, trying to park the moped with Kyle. Hmm. And they didn't even say shit to me. Yeah. And AJ and them are going around telling people that I'm on cocaine and heroin and I'm back on the needle. One, I've never touched cocaine or heroin. Three, I've not been back on the needle. And I'm not using. I'm just tired because of all the bullshit and I can't sleep. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like anybody I talk to, like Kelsey Bromley or... My guy friends, it's like, they're too busy to talk to. They're too busy for me to talk to them about what's going on. Yeah. But, I'm over here in Slushyville, sitting at the Marathon gas station, <laughs> waiting on a friend to come over here. Yeah. But, I'm gonna get off here and wait for him to get here, so. If you wanna give me a call later, you can. Yeah, I gotta take my meds soon, so they might knock yeah. me out. Yeah. Um, I did have an accident, moped accident twice. Last, let's see, about a week ago on Friday and last Monday. And I fell on the same knee twice. And I got a new uh, leg cast on. For my knee. So. That's what happened to me. But I'll let you go so you can take your meds, sweetheart. What was that? Sorry, my cat's uh, distracting me. Um, last Friday, a week ago Friday, I had an accident on my moped. Uh huh. And I uh, skinned up my knee, my foot, and my uh, by my elbow. And then Monday, the following week, I had another accident on the same leg. Yeah. So my knee is swollen, and I have a leg cast on my right leg. That sucks. Yeah, I'm in pretty much pain. <laughs> but I'm going to get off here and I'll let you take your meds, sweetheart. Hey, uh, who, who's picking you up? Like, Oh, I have my scooter. But I'm just waiting for him to get He's not that far from me. But who is it? Noah. Van Nice. One of my good friends. Uh. I used to, I known him from when I worked at Circle K. So. Yeah. Have you but seen, have you seen freaking Emma's Cody around at all? Or, because uh -uh. Jody said that he's staying in the house, and I just want to make sure he's not wandering. Well, from what I found out was that, uh, from Mike Largent, um, that he's staying with his brother. Yeah. And that Emma was, uh, 
not letting Cody get his stuff or um, having them uh, come get it for him because of the no contact order between them. No, no. Um, Emma and her grandma got into it, so then Emma called me crying and wanted to come over for a few days. Yeah. And once, and even Jody thought it was a good idea, so once Emma, you know, came over, then Jody, she gave Jody and Sam a set of keys for the apartment, and then they came over and got some of Cody's stuff after they bailed him out, and he's staying at Sam and Jody's right now. Yeah. So... No, he he's what he went up there with with Jody and got his stuff. It was perfectly fine. Uh huh. So I don't know why he's saying that he couldn't get his stuff because he he could he did so. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get off here, sweetheart, and I'll let you go so you can get some sleep and get your meds in. All right. All right, give me a call tomorrow. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. Give me a high five. I'm proud of you for being so fucking quiet. <clears throat> yeah! <laughs> Why the fuck is Cody telling her that he can't get his shit? He went over there with fucking Jody. He went up to the...